according to trainer Don Charles, his fight of Derek Chisora's next fight is looking at the moment as though it's going to be a rematch with Robert Hellenius and it will likely take place in May. Now, most of you will probably remember that the first fight with Robert Hellenius and Derek Chisora was highly controversial. The vast majority of neutral observers, at least, felt that Derek Chisora not only won the fight, but won the fight big. And I was certainly one of those people. I think it was one of the worst robberies I've actually ever seen. The fact that Hellenius got the decision. Incredible. In fact, it was such a bad robbery that WBC heavyweight champion at the time, Vitaly Klitschko, decided to give the loser of that fight a title shot rather than the winner. The loser being Derek Chisora, the official loser, because Vitaly said, look, Chisora won that fight. Hellenius didn't win it. He doesn't deserve a title shot. I'm paraphrasing, but that's basically what Vitaly Klitschko said. So the rematch between these two has been a long time in the making. There were several points where it looked like it was going to happen previously, but for whatever reason, it didn't. Perhaps it will happen this time. Chisora is coming off a loss to Dylan White, which a lot of people, again, felt like he won that fight, although it was nowhere near as controversial as the Hellenius fight. Uh, the Dylan White fight was close. Uh, you could have given it to Chisora by a round or so. You could, could have given it to Dylan, could have had it a draw. You know, it was one of those kind of fights. But the Hellenius fight was just outright robbery. It was a, <laughs> it wasn't even close. Chisora was winning every round by a wide margin. So it was what it was. Chisora will now have the opportunity to right that wrong. We'll see what he's able to do. He put in a good performance against Dylan White because his work was effective when he did actually work. But worryingly and alarmingly, he wasn't able to sustain the old Derek Chisora work rate for three minutes of a round, particularly in the second half of the fight. That's why Dylan White ultimately got the decision because Chisora was fighting in spurts, whereas Dylan White's work was more steady. But when Chisora did fight in those spurts, it was effective. He was landing, I thought, the more eye-catching shots, the cleaner shots most of the time. But against a guy like Hellenius, who, yeah, he's coming off a loss himself. He got knocked out by Johan Duopa. But He's a lot taller, or he's, yeah, I think he's like 6'6", six, 6'7". Six, six, he's taller than Dylan White. Probably hits harder than Dylan White. Um, you know, it's going to be interesting if Chisora can actually get away with fighting the way he did against Dylan White, against uh, Robert Hellenius. We'll see. Personally, I think the rematch is, is not bad. A lot of people are disappointed that Chisora won't be fighting a rematch with Dylan White. But... It's to be expected. Dylan White is number four in the WBC rankings now. Derek Chisora is not ranked in the top 10 of any of the governing bodies. So unless they offer Dylan White silly money, it would actually be silly of him to take the Chisora rematch at this point. Why would he take it? He's on the verge of a title shot. He's number four in the WBC. Would you, if you were in Dylan White's position, take a Chisora rematch when you were that close to a title shot? You wouldn't do it. You know, like I say, unless they were offering silly money. So it is what it is. Chisora Hellenius is what looks likely, according to Don Charles. In fact, let me just quote Don Charles. He says, it sounded like that's the fight that is happening next. The last encounter we won, but we didn't get the decision. So it's something that Derek needs to rectify. And I believe we will. We anticipate he will be fighting in May, uh, wherever there's a boxing ring and a referee. Everybody had written him off against White, but he pulled it out of the bag. Next time, we'll draw confidence from that. Derek has got his mojo back. He's in the gym. He's experienced enough to be active because you never know if you get an opportunity, you have to be ready. So those are the words of Derek Chisora's trainer, Don Charles. We'll see how ready he is. Hopefully, he's built on the Dylan White fight. Hopefully, his fitness is better than it was in the Dylan White fight. His technique was certainly good in the White fight. You know, he, was, he wasn't slapping like we used to see Derek Chisora. Uh, throw punches he was actually turning his shots over and hitting with a knuckle part of the glove which was a nice improvement i've been waiting for a long time to for Derek chisora to actually throw punches like that <laughs> we'll see what he can do against Hellenius. 
Let me know what you think in the comment section below, people. Do you like this fight? Do you dislike this fight? Me personally, I like it because it gives Derek Chisora the chance to right the wrong. And it's a crossroads fight. Hellenius is coming off a loss. Chisora is coming off a loss. And it just seems fitting that they should rematch again now. So how do you see it going? Who do you think will win? Do you think Hellenius could actually beat Chisora this time legitimately? Because as I say, Chisora don't seem to have the work rate that he did first time he fought Hellenius. Maybe that will be a factor, maybe it won't. Let me know. All right, it's happening, I'm out.